Today marks the one-year anniversary of President Moon Jae-in's inauguration, but there were no fancy events to celebrate the occasion at the top office. Just another day, business as usual, the liberal leader did post a message of gratitude via social media, vowing to stand by the people until the end of his term. Huang Wujun shares with us his remarks. Well, Mr. President, it's hard to blame you. It was quite a day. A briefing from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff at the break of dawn, visiting the National Cemetery, the headquarters of each political party, and the National Assembly to be inaugurated, then appointing key Blue House officials and the Prime Minister, and finally taking a congratulatory phone call from the U.S. President at night. In light of the anniversary, President Moon Jae-in posted a statement on social media thanking the Korean people for their support. In his message, which he said he wrote Wednesday on his way back from Tokyo, the president said the past year was about transforming Korea into a country that people can be proud of. He said his administration has tried to eradicate deep-rooted evils like corruption and set the nation's history straight while seeking reconciliation. It also tried, he said, to eliminate the fear of war and establish a sustainable peace while showing Korea's potential to the world through the PyeongChang Winter Olympics. The South Korean president also noted that his efforts have been met with some resistance from people he said fear change. He stressed that he and his administration still have a long way to go and pledged to power through alongside the people. And in another tweet, the liberal leader thanked the people for their love and support and expressed his desire to make a positive impact on people's lives during his time in office. A lot of important things are happening in the region now diplomatically, including but not only the recent inter-Korean summit, the trilateral talks between Seoul, Tokyo and Beijing, and the upcoming Pyongyang-Washington summit. So there was no extravagant ceremony to celebrate the administration's first year. But as he starts his next four, President Moon is sounding as committed to change as he was last May when he came into office pledging to build, quote, a nation worthy of being called a nation. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.